Praise God, praise God. You know, <laughs> and I, y I know y'all already know the ones that follow me and the ones that know my spirit. When I'm on one, I'm on one. But I realize it's not really me being on one. It's the Holy Spirit on me. Come on, somebody. So I guess, yeah, I'm on one. So <laughs> I'm telling you, today has been very eventful. My God, my God. You remember I told you I was going to ride around? Well, I did. You know, although I'm not feeling up to par, but it's something about the Holy Spirit. It, it makes you do things. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It, it revives you. He revives you, not it. So, anywho, I went downtown. I see why God wanted me to go downtown Atlanta. Um, Y'all ain't going to believe this. They had this guy with a devil mask on walking in broad daylight. I don't know where he got the kind of mask from. And I'm just looking, I'm looking at the homelessness, I'm just looking at the brokenness, I'm, I'm just looking, I'm feeling the spirit of downtown. And let me tell you how real it was. I don't drive downtown Atlanta, you know, meaning I don't know my way around too much because I pretty much stay at home or go to the store or whatever God tells me to do. So it was so much stuff downtown, my God. And I just started praying in the atmosphere, praying over the atmosphere. This one guy, he got mad because like I told you, I don't drive around. So I could see... Remember that road rage? It happened to me. Let me tell you how I handled it. I slowed down. I looked at him. And I said, I said, I'm sorry. God bless you. Y'all ain't ready for me. I'm telling you testimonies not to act like I'm all that and I'm so spiritual. It is time to be obedient in everything. I didn't know why God wanted me to go downtown. I really didn't know. Found out though, right? It's really some spirit, y'all. It's everywhere, y'all. It's It's everywhere. It's everywhere. So then I came to the store. You know, I had to get a few things. And so God said, go to register two. I really didn't want to go to register two. I'm going to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I'm a person of energy and action, right? And the guy was like doing this. Like, like he in another world. And I wanted to get up on here because, God, and I don't just do these. When I come back to back, that's the Holy Spirit prompting me. Okay, so anywho. You know, we so quick to judge people, I, I, and I'm just being real. When I first looked at him, I said, oh, my God, he, he moving like slow. He lazy or something. God said, no, no, look deeper. So I threw that that first thought out the window, although he was being sluggish. I ain't going to lie. He, he, he's doing, a, he doing, everybody can see he's doing like that. Like something is really, and so God said, look in the spirit. I said, something happened. I don't know if it was a death in the family. God didn't clarify that. But God said, when he hand you the money, Tell him, I want to pray for you. So it'd be an exchange so he don't get in trouble or anything. So that's just what I did. I said, young man, let me pray on you. I pray for you just one minute, you know, and I touched his hand and I pray. And I never forget when I, when I looked at him, you should, see, you should have seen the way he looked at me. Like, how you know? You guys, I am not trying to get up on here trying to make myself look good. I'm trying to tell you how much people need God right now. They don't need us front. They don't need us entertaining. They don't need. <sighs> My heart is just so heavy. People are hurting. I'm going to say it again. People are hurting. That's why it's imperative. If you are a leader or even just a Christian. It's, it's imperative that you walk that walk for real. Because you don't know when God's going to gonna make you pray for somebody like he did with that young man. That's what I got on here to say. Our assignment is real people need us in this hour as a matter of fact i'm gonna leave you with this god says i cannot stay with you i have to go but i'm gonna send the, the comforter that will lead you and teach you and guide you and jesus left these works with us and i pray that you understand what he's saying he say not only that i go to my father but you should do greater works Mm, let me speak it into your spirit again but you should do greater work said the lord hallelujah i don't care what's going on i don't care if you think that you're not this person or that person one touch from god i'm gonna say it again one touch from god i change your whole life the presence of god the power of god the fire of god and let me tell you something what they're trying to do the spirit of the antichrist is trying to intimidate you you don't think they be looking at me crazy y'all don't think they be let me tell you something on my way from downtown and i know it was done people because they've done it since 2014 to a couple of even students I, i'm i'm trying to turn off car hurry up and to beat me so i just pull on side go ahead go ahead dude 
it, it, it ain't that serious. But but I know that just don't happen. So I know it's the spirit. So I just start laughing. Because you'll never be able to kill me until my assignment is over with. And I hope y'all listening. I'm going to say it again. You can't kill me till my assignment is over with. And that's only if God lets you. Ooh, I said it like I said. Y'all ain't got no power. Stop playing. Stop fronting. Devils ain't got no power. God got all the power. He only got what God allowed him to have. Mm -hmm. You see, I know the truth about that fool. Fool, you ain't got no power. <laughs> y'all better, better, better understand. I'm talking with authority because I want you to get it in your spirit. It is time for the body of Christ to stand up like never before. We've been too complacent. I'm going to be real with you. You see, when God allowed that man-made COVID, and that's what it is. I don't care what y'all say. False positive test. Oh, oh, catch that one. Be testing positive and don't even have it. But they want y'all. I'm not, I'm not allowed to release certain things. But I will say this. I see you. <laughs> I, and I always know when they are on assignment. Yeah, I see you over there. But anywho, let me tell you something. You can look at me all day long. Never intimidate me. <laughs> the devil is a lie. So anywho, you know when you stick those things up, your, your thing, you take tests? God say, be careful. Pray, pray over it. Pray over it if you take a COVID test. Because there's something there. I don't know what they're doing. But I'm telling you, that's why they wanted us to stick it up. On, on the, them people, them people evil. I'm going to say it again. Them people real evil. Them people are evil. But God has tell their secret every time. I say every time. Pray over everything you do. I'm not. No, hold on. We're not inducing fear. The devil is a lie. I'm saying pray over everything you do. And always ask God. God is this you? Because if it is God. You will feel a spirit of peace that come over you. When you don't have any peace. That's not God. I'm going to say it again. That's not God. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost all over me. Y'all know when I get back to back, like, that's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. Because I, I got things to do, but nothing more important to remember your first assignment. The mandate of the kingdom. It is kingdom first. I'm going to put that in your spirit every time I get up on here. From now, Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. God is about kingdom. God ain't about all this other stuff that we about. Hallelujah. God want to know how many souls are you saving? How many lives are you touching? Are you walking in the Holy Ghost? Can you walk in the Holy Ghost? Because you can't if you're touching an unclean thing. And, and, and one thing about it, if he can't destroy you, he'll try to send people to distract you. <laughs> Come on, somebody. But I speak power. I decree and declare that you are anointed by God and you will feel his presence in the name of Jesus and you will decree and declare a thing and it should be done and you will trample over every serpent and every scorpion and every demonic entity in the name of Jesus it is time for you to take your rightful place saith the Lord hallelujah this real this ain't no game this ain't no game it never was but I tell you what COVID did it exposed a lot of people how faith, how much faith you really have. Because the enemy is inducing fear in this hour. So the three spirits that is high, that is very high, is fear, anger, and rage. And they all work together. You will never see one demon working together. You see, unlike Christians that want to be a superstar, that want to be all about whatever, demons work together. That's why the Bible says that a kingdom divided itself can't stand. Satan, Satan can't I mean divided. They, they know each other and they work together. Trust me. All of them. <laughs> all right. So, Lord have mercy. I don't know if I'm going to get back on here again because this has been a very moving and eventful day. I knew <laughs> that, that something was going on. I could just tell how the day was going because I can't tell y'all that part. But I woke up at 630 because I thought something was going on. And the way I move, I don't move like that. I move fast. And so, anywho, God is good. God is good. That's all I can say. God is good. And stand in your authority in this hour. Don't let nobody scare you. <laughs> Don't people try to intimidate. No, no, no. One thing I love about Jesus. And do you know fear is in the Bible 365 day times? So that means each day you should say to yourself, I will fear no evil. I got my godchild, uh, my, my grandchild. When Austin get, I said, what you, what, what grandma taught you? I will fear no evil, grandma. Y'all better learn that. Because that's how they're getting for most people, through fear. And of course, paying people off to do bad things. Oh yeah, I'm going to tell it like it is. All right, you guys, just stay, stay strong in the Lord. Stay, stay strong. We in some stuff, man. We in some stuff. But, you know, 
Jesus told us. Not only did he told us, he showed us. Look what they did to him. And he was the son of God. Who are we? Who are we? But one thing he did that I pray we get in our spirit. He often went up to the mountain and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights by himself. Now, I know we can't all go to a mountain. Don't take it word for word. What I am saying, it is time to get in your prayer closets like never before. It is time to pray like never before. It is time to preach and teach like never before. It is time to ask people, do you know the Lord as your Savior like never before? That's what time it is. So God bless you. Yeah, that's so funny you say that, Miss Janice, because guess what? That's another thing. I'm glad you're saying that. They also have that, I'll tell you, they got that spirit of people trying to, family, trying to make people kill their family. So y'all got to pray over y'all family. I'm not playing. I, I saw it for two weeks now, some weird things. Um, also, trying to make you kill yourself. You are right, Miss Young. The spirit, that, that spirit is trying to make people kill. I'm telling you, this is what they doing. Ooh, I, I, got, I got a big one to, to um. When I do this video about the TV, I'm going to try to do it tonight. I'm not, don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try. But it's coming. When y'all understand what I've learned about the television and how it got started, oh, my God, that, that, that was crazy. But it makes sense. So, God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless you. Y'all have a blessed day.